Hey y'all, what's up? You know what it is. It's the one and only Triple the G-O-D. Welcome back to Run That Wreck, everyone. Well, you guys know what's up. You guys know now how I'm playing this game through, but, you know, the effects of how I'm playing the game aren't going to make their presence known until our next video. So, you know, for right now, Zero is going to be today's tank to get X to, to fight our next Maverick. So I figured, you know, I preface with that. Well, if Zero is going to tank, to get X to the Maverick, who's going to die? Well, it's this guy, the Silvery Snowman, Frozen Buffalo, and we know him better over here as Builder Buffalo. And yes, that is his name, Builder Buffalo, because people, you know, forgot, you know, in their little cutscene in the, you know, the CD versions of X3, this misspelled his name. So, I just call him Builder Buffalo just to poke fun that people cannot spell. Well, you know, I apologize. I shouldn't make fun of people who can't spell because, you know, hey, just because I'm smarter than you doesn't mean that, you know, I should poke fun at you because you can't spell Blizzard. Because that's his name, Blizzard Buffalo, not Builder Buffalo. And why are we still talking about this? You know what? Come and die. See, I, I can't do this. This is, this is too much. I, you know, if they want to misspell his name in, in the video game, misspell his name. I, I don't care. The only thing I do is hunt down matters. That's my job. I kill things. So, let's not even do this. Okay? No. Mm -mm, no. No. Welcome to recording what the internet says is a ski resort. Now, I, I'm, I'm just going to ask a real talk question here, everyone. Okay. Now, what ski resort you know? Got big giant circle things? Shooting missiles at you. Oh yeah, and by the way, uh, oh damn, I didn't even get to see it blow up. So you can use the tornado thing to knock out the bricks. If we had a ride armor, which we'll be collecting later, and something I'm going to take a second to a complain about now. The whole ride armor thing in this game is stupid. In order to use the ride armor, you have to find the base ride armor, and once you find the base ride armor. You can use any additional, you know, um, alternate versions of said ride armor, but you need the base one first. It's one of those things that go with the prefacing of why I can't play this game without at least wanting to return it to one Maverick stage at some point because of decisions like these. So, my thing is, I don't know if, like, if that was a design decision. I don't, not really sure, but to me, it just seemed like a very weird decision. So, you know, that in order for me to use rod armor, you know, but I do appreciate that they're more a part of the game now. But in order for me to use them, is that I got to, you know, collect other rod armor first. And I'm just like, no. And why am I shooting at these things? See, that's confusion everywhere. But it, it, just, it was just one of my personal pet peeves with this game. Is that that's even a thing that I have to collect ride armor parts and do this and do that and there is a whole other thing that we're going to get into actually that'll be in our next stage that'll be in our next stage another little weird crucial component to this game but i got you we're gonna figure it out together and you know again still thinking about how this is a ski resort who will want to come to this thing and i am trying the best i can to not make a joke about afghanistan I really want to make a joke about Afghanistan here, but I know it's in bad and poor times. Um, you, you see that hole right there? If you jump down it right now, you'll die. Maybe if you jump down it later, it may be something down there. I may show you what's down that hole, I may show you what's not, but I just want to tell you what's from down there. Moving right along, keep tanking, Zero. Gotta get X to the boss chamber, yeah! Team best friends forever, you know, doing the damn thing. You know, tank it for your homies, you know what I mean? Getting aggro on that shit. I don't believe I just said that. I have no business making jokes about that at all. You know, I don't even play those games, I just think, you know, it's funny. Still trying to figure out why this is a thing. Oh, oh this. Look, what do we have here? You must be zero. Huh? 
Um, who in the hell are you? And how do you know my name? I'm Ex's father, Dr. Thomas Light. Uh-huh. Um, I really don't know how to process this. I'm a sentient robot. I, I cannot process this whatsoever. I can't do it. Well, excuse me for not trying to be rude. Dr. Thomas, whatever your name is. Do you have something to say? Because I have to go kill things. So if there's something you need me to pass along to X, I can do that. But um, you need to make it quick because, you know, my bloodlust is rising. So whatever you have to say, spill it. Thanks. Thank you for helping and supporting X through these dangerous times. You, you have my sincerest gratitude. Whatever. Even though these enhancements were designed for X, you may be able to use them to some extent. Please pass on to X what I'm about to tell you. Enter this capsule, Zero. Take this leg upgrade. The upgrade will enhance your mobility in the air. You may be able to dash left, right, or even straight up into the air. Weirdest thing ever. Let's try it again, please. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Thank you. Because you have to, because you can make it respawn like this. Daddy! Daddy, did, did you meet the, the red guy? That's my bestest friend forever, Zero. He's really cool, and he has a sword. Daddy, why don't I have a sword? I want a sword too. Sword. Daddy, why aren't you talking back? Sword. See, I'm your son. You build stuff for me. I want a sword. I want to be cool like the Zero guy. And he told me that you had something for me. He said something about that if I get into this capsule, I can air dash or something to that degree. At least that's how he perceived it anyway. Okay. Uh-huh. Word. Thanks, Fox. Well, after the father-son bonding and Zero acting really weird about who is this dude talking to me, we get the air dash. It allows X to do something new he couldn't in other games. Dashing up. This will be important in a minute. Very important. But right now, Zero got some old tanking to do before, you know, we get to Builder Buffalo and all that, you know what I'm saying? So, it is what it is with that. See, what kind of in ski resort is this, man? Seriously. Ah, see, I almost made it. See, I'm trying to be cool. And I'm going to pull it off, too. I just forgot to hop up the side of it when I was done. But let's see if I can do this without Zero getting itself murdered first. What? Okay, the, the game cheating. I, I'm upset. I'm upset that I'm trying to do cool stuff and the game wanna cheat. Thank you. Sub tank numero dos. You gotta love that. Um I don't even think it's even safe to tank with zero anymore. How is it that your BFF can't tank for you no more because the game wanna cheat? I'm upset. The game you crack. How about that? Dang you crazy. Now I'm about to die. Dang you crazy. Dang you crazy. 
game, you crazy. I, I don't I don't know what to say. This I'm completely speechless if the game is straight cheating. Wow. Um whatever. Whatever. Okay. The game cheating, stuff like that. We have an air dash. And luckily, it don't matter how much health I have because Bilbert Buffalo over here? Yeah. Programming error. See, even with one health, you know, with this programming error, usually you're actually just supposed to jump, but you know, having a, doing an up air dash, it, it, it works personally for me because if you miss time the jump of it, you'll get hit and you'll die and you know, you know, dying is never good and then I missed it and didn't realize I missed it. And then I still killed Bill, Blizzard, Blizzard, we got, you know what, I don't even care what we're going to call it, Blizzard Buffalo, Blizzard Buffalo, misspell his name, not his name, who cares, he's dead. And that, mission accomplished. And for all of that confusion, you know, having X talk to Dr. Light, having X see his father, me killing Blizzard Buffalo, we get the awesome power of the Frost Shield. The Frost Shield has a very special use and we'll see that a lot later when we get ready to prepare for war for the second half of the game. But right now, here's our friend Dr. Doppler and he would like to, as all bad guys, announce his master plan to the world because that's what bad guys do. I don't understand that's why bad guys do, but they do it! So, at this time, Dr. Doppler will take the floor and he will announce his master plan of stuff and it will change how we play the game from this point forward and I will try to preface a little bit when we're done about how this actually works. Everybody good? Fine. Wonderful. Let's go. Those two Maverick Hunters are far more powerful than I anticipated. I must find out the limits of their power. Big Bite! And that's Bitten Bite. They have Japanese names. We'll explain we'll explain what their Japanese names and the meaning behind them and how it relates to their English names before I kill them. I need a, I need further examples of their ability. Do not fail me. Affirmative, Dr. Doppler. I'm gonna kill you guys so bad. Really? 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 The best men's impersonation I could come up with. Wow. Mysterious Maverick. Come on. I know who you is, nigga. Come on. You seriously? Come on. You, you can't, well, okay. Purple Boba Fett, okay, whatever, but this was a cool thing in the way that they prefaced it with is that you know spoiler alert he does come back in one more game what game that is you know figure it out for yourself but it's good to see your bio you know you don't really have to hide in like half shadow or anything i don't know why they painted you this way you know i really enjoy breaking this game down you know in a very first fourth wall breaking type of thing because these type of things here nah. So, you know, I've done my ha-ha. <laughs> Val, please, go right ahead. Just those two, Doctor? You're so kind. Watch your mouth or I'll put you back where I found you. Even with your enhancements, you're still no match for me. <laughs> Thanks for the upgrade, Doc, but I have a score to settle. And I'll do it my way. I love Lim Biscuit too, Vile. Word. Chocolate Starfish and the Hot Dog Flavor Water. That's an awesome fucking album. You're welcome. Fine. Just make sure you do it. I still can't believe those Maverick Hunters defeated my master twice in the... Really? Okay. I can't even do this. Of course! Of course! Come 
Come on now. Trope. Tropity tropity trope. Of course. Of course. Of course. Fine. Whatever. Well, yeah. As you see, Vile's back. Sigma is the mastermind behind this whole thing. Like we didn't know this was coming. Eh? Eh? It's all I got. Well, well, kitties. Before we get out of here, let me educationally wise is that even a damn word? Whatever. Let me explain you what that cutscene means. Remember that hole we saw in Blizzard Buffalo saying that if you jump down it, you die? If you jump down there now, you can fight Vile there. There are two other places in which you can fight Vile. Now, Bit and Bite, however, Bit and Bite are not like the X Hunters from Mega Man X2. It's that when you get to, like, the, the boss we go to next, most of the time, it works that you fight Bit at that third stage. And we'll get into, you know, how all of that works because there's some underlining stuff for the end game in there and we'll explain that. And then a couple of stages later, I think it's the third stage you fight Bite. You fight Bit and then it, it stay and then the sixth stage you go to you fight you fight Bite in it. So like I said, there are a lot of underlining things we really have to explain about that. But just know, um, we not gonna we not gonna be fighting purple boba set for a while because there's really no reason to with that. My boss order is that more like they're not you know, I'll treat Bob to his own video. I might I might just treat Bob to his own video just for fun, depending on, you know, how I decide I wanna take my boss order because of the addition of zero is that I, I, my, the boss order that I can now do is very varied and how I want to approach it. So it just all depends on what I want to do and how I want to approach it. So stay tuned and you'll find out exactly how we approach it. So with that being said, I'm Triple the G.O.D. This is Brunette Rex. I need to go play um, Street Fighter Cross Mega Man and I need to go get Hong Kong money to go buy Chaos Code. So, I'm going to go do that. So, again, you know I am. I'm Triple the G-O-D. This is Run That Rex. And I'll see you guys next time, man. Peace out. <laughs>